hello everyone in this session we will discuss the square gale squirrel gauge induction rotor so we already discussed about the things the induction motor is divided depends on the rotor construction generally the rotors are two types one is squirrel gauge another one is the slip ring induction motor so in this session we will discuss the construction and working of the squirrel gauge induction motor why it is called the squirrel gauge induction motor here it's look like a squirrel gauge generally just observe here this is the this is the uh, the practical squirrel gauge induction motor practical squirrel gauge induction motor in this so and we can we can we write like this the squirrel gauge motor inside we have some bars are available these are the rotor bars these rotor bars is arranged with some angle it's not straight lines these arranged with some angle so why these arrangement is we will discuss in further topics first the squirrel gauge induction motor is made with the material the laminated silicon steel the laminated silicon steel in the transformers transformer induction motors almost always uh, almost same construction there is a steel but that is the crgo steel here the steel is and itself it consisting of the laminations the laminated crgo steel is available but induction motor we don't require the crgo steel just we require the laminated with the silicon steel laminated with the silicon steel so what is the reason for these laminations generally here for stator here stator also made with core made with the laminated laminated silicon steel here stator core and as well as rotor both are made with the laminated silicon steel only laminated silicon steel only so here the laminations is mainly reducing the losses hysteresis losses as well as eddy current losses laminations gender main for the to reduce the hysteresis losses hysteresis losses yeah we will discuss very deeply what is hysteresis losses how these hysteresis losses is decreased by the laminations okay and the stator side also the stator loss will be proportional to the frequency square here the rotor core made up of with the laminated silicon steel silicon is material to reduce sorry laminations not hysteresis it is main purpose is eddy current loss main purpose is the eddy current loss and by adding the silica to this silica to the steel then we can reduce the hysteresis losses hysteresis losses the main purpose is doing the lamination adding the silica is main to reduce the these two are the magnetic losses to reduce the magnetic losses yes here again we have some statement that is the rotor core is made up of with the laminated silicon steel the purpose of lamination to main reduce the eddy current loss it will depends on the frequency of induced currents in the order of 1.5 to 3 h so generally it will depends on the frequency because hysteresis losses hysteresis losses and the eddy current losses both will depends on the frequency induced currents frequency of the induced currents so that's why and these currents is very less that is 1.5 to 3 h and thicker laminations are enough to eliminate the loss we we require some thicker laminations thicker laminations thinner laminations two types laminations is nothing but if the core is like this if we are dividing this core into these parts is called laminations then then the flux the flux will straightly flow this there is no change in flux is possible and if the it is divided into three parts if it is divided into only two parts then these laminations is called the thicker laminations 
that means large laminations thinner laminations means it has less space thicker laminations means it has more space so thicker laminations are enough to eliminate the loss the rotor core is made with the thicker laminations okay All right so here here also like stata there are semi open type slots so we already discussed when we are discussing the type slot slots in case of induction motor stata having winding that winding have for the winding we require the slots those are the slots stata slots and we have another the rotor slots also stata slots as well as rotor slots so we already discussed the slots of stata is semi open slot semi open slot these same number of slots will be used in the rotor also those are all also semi open slots so in induction motor itself the slots are used or the semi open slots both for stator as well as rotor so these are the semi open slots heavy copper bars are inserted into the rotor slot bar just observe here this is the construction these red lines are the copper bars these all are the copper bars what is the requirement of these copper bars copper is for to flow the current copper bars also it flows the high current high amount of current it will offers high amount of currents rotor slot bars either ends with the rotor bar short circuit by end rings these all are just observe here this ending point this is the ending point and this is also ending bars these points are ended with concluded with ended with look at here this is the ending part and this is also the ending part are known as the these parts are known as the end rings end rings are shorted actually these are shorted that means these are combined together so here the i ends with the rotor bars are short circuit by the end rings so these are the end rings all are short circuited the end rings are made with the forging forging so these are applied by the forging process forging is the process that will be made with a single material and those are useful for short circuiting the con any conducting materials is the process apply to the copper increase the mechanical strength of the copper the main reason of the forging is the main reason is just by doing the forging on the end end parts just end parts is to increase the mechanical strength so for the end of the rotor we require the mechanical strength so end always have the mechanical strength because this is the base thing so just observe here this part this part if you look look at here this part it look like a silver color it look like a silver color this is called this is doing the forging of the copper so by doing this we will get we will improve the strength of the strength of the rotor okay here rotor slots are skewed rotor slots are skewed what is the meaning of the skewing skewing means as uh, simply generally for just you take a rotor again if you take the rotor bar is like this if you take the rotor bar is like this here one rotor bar is arranged in the straight line this is the rotor bar if is skewing this what happen if you are doing the skewing for this it will look like having some angle with on it it will be get with the some angle if the straight is left but it is with the some end angle it is with the some end angle so it is ended look at here this cop this is the straight line by doing the skewing it has some angle so by doing the skewing we have lot of applications we can improve the starting torque and we can reduce the crawling cogging and those are effects can be reduced by this skewing 
so skewing is very very important or role so these are the construction of the squirrel gauge induction motor squirrel gauge induction motor just observe here here these are these are the this is the copper bars this line is the copper bar the combination of silver and this is not a straight line this has some skewing this has some skewing just observe here and these are the end rings these are the end rings and he has bearing it rotates with this bearing it rotates so this is the inside construction and these are the outside construction so here you should keep in your the important point the rotor is for induction motor rotor is worked as a armature armature is nothing but a simply it is the collection of conductors this is the collection of conductors it is consisting of the more number of conductors here you you have to have an doubt that is where is the conductors here the conductors is nothing but just observe here these copper bars are the used as the conductors so conductors are copper bars conductors are the copper bars okay so this is the construction of the squirrel gauge induction motor I hope all of you understand the session. Thank you.